Hey, do you want to learn how to add pop-up in Hostinger Website Builder website? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. All right, first you need to go over to edgepanel.hostinger.com. On it, on the left-hand side, press on Websites, Websites List. Then on the right-hand side, I'm going to select one of my Hostinger Website Builder project, like this one. I'm going to press on Edit Website, and it's going to take me over to the editor. Now on it, I'm going to add an exit intent pop-up. You can add any other pop-up as well. To do this, we are going to use this service called commonninja.com. On it, you need to log in, create an account. I've put a link in the description. You can go through that. And we've got a lot of widgets inside it, like these. You can add it on any website. Doesn't matter. It's a WordPress website. It's a website builder from Hostinger. It can be anything. You can add an AI chatbot, image slider, new sticker, and a lot more. So I'm going to use this pop-ups and bars and buttons. Here you've got this pop-up builder, just click on it and it's going to take you over to this page. Now you're going to find that you've got a lot of templates here, so you can choose between them. You've got content, you can change the cover image, you can change the elements inside it. So for example, I can change this 50% special deal. I've got this text here, I can just edit it like this. There you go. And you can also change the colors of it. So you can go here and go to background, change the background color for this like that. Next, we've got look and feel. You can change the layout of how it will look like like this. You've got the animation, so you can do a slide to top, slide to bottom, ta-da, and a lot more. So yeah, there's design, text, background, primary. You can also use one of these, so skins like that. There are settings. You can show title, hide title, and a lot more. You've also got display rules here. I'm going to press on this to enable it on exit intent. So when someone is about to exit from your website, it's going to give you that pop-up. All right, you've got all of these display rules as well. You can select them and change them as you like. There's where rules. If you do not want to display that pop-up on mobile, you can enable this and disable display on mobile. Or if you want it to only appear on specific pages, you can also enable it and then save changes. One more thing that I forgot here is that in content, if you want, you can also talk to AI and it's going to make some changes based on that. There's analytics as well for this widget. You just need to publish it and then embed it to your hosting a website builder website as well. Once done, you should be able to see the analytics for this widget. All right, let's click on save changes on the top right. And there you go. Now let's click on publish. You've got this add widget to your website. I'm going to copy this script plus div section. Go back to hosting a website builder. And on it, on the left-hand side, press on more, then go to integrations. You've got custom code here, press on it. And here you just need to enter in that code. Once done, you do not need to save anything. Just press on X and update the website on the top right. That's it. Now I'm going to view this website on incognito tab. Just put the URL here. And like I try to exit here, this pop-up appeared. And that's it. This is how the pop-ups will appear. If you want, you can also make it so it appears in some other way. Just need to go over here in display rules. You can change instead of on exit intent, you can do a view limit after delay, page scroll, visits, and a lot more. So if you go with visits, let's say your user has visited the page five times, and then you can give that pop-up. And yeah, that's it. That's how to add pop-up in your Hostinger website builder website. I hope this video helped solve your problem. If it did, let me know with the like and comment. And on the right hand side, you're going to find more Hostinger related guides and fixes. See you there and bye for now.